Hi, my name is Bill Weiss, and I'm the author of the book, 23 Minutes in Hell. Thank you for watching. You know, as we grow in faith and spiritual maturity, we should have a desire to seek God first in every area of our lives. We should also consider that when things seem to go wrong or we run into obstacle after obstacle, we could be responsible for the issues we are dealing with. It is possible that some areas of our lives are being affected by our own negligence. You know, think about it like this. Before a pilot takes off on his flight, he has a checklist of things to observe to be certain all is in good working order. If he forgets to check it, he may miss something and that could cost him his life. This awareness causes him to be extremely careful not to make any mistakes. As Christians, we should be as diligent in our everyday lives. Our desire should be to search the scriptures to see if we are missing something God's word instructs us to do. You know, I know we are under grace, but I am not talking about earning anything from God or obeying by our own power. It is His grace that enables us to obey His word. Hebrews 12, 28 states, states let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. In order to grow from glory to glory, we need to place more of His Word in our hearts. Psalms 119.11 states, Your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. When something goes wrong in our life, my wife and I first examine ourselves in light of the Bible. Usually, it is because I missed it somewhere. This is not a condemning remark, but instead a welcomed heed to correction. We want to honestly examine our attitude and also make sure what we are doing lines up with Scripture. The Bible says to judge ourselves and not others in Matthew 7, 1, 1 Corinthians 11, 31. If we can be honest, it takes humility to receive instruction and to admit we may have missed something. Psalms 26, 2 says, Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. Lamentations 3.40 says, Let us search and try our waves. 1 Corinthians 11.28, But let a man examine himself. Even if we have been disobedient or careless, we are to approach God without fear of condemnation, as Hebrews 4.16 states. However, our attitude must be a humble heart and a reverential fear of Almighty God. It is by grace that we receive the things we desire from Him. You know, we do not try in our flesh to live holy. We live holy because we desire to. And it's by His grace we can do it.